What's up guys, my name is Gemini and welcome back to Inscription. Alrighty guys, so we are making progress and we have ascended to the snow line. And now we have, well we don't actually have a choice. Uh, and neither does my mouse apparently because it's just consistently rolling up. Well, this is annoying. Two hours later. Alrighty guys, after 45 minutes worth of technical difficulties, we're finally fully functional. Looks good. Unfortunately, I'm in a bit of a mood now and I don't really feel like playing, but um, but I need to record today, so let's just see how this goes. Um, I kind of want to go and do another one of these mysteries. I know I was guaranteed a card from that other one, but I quite like these mystery cave ones. Uh, so we got the Trial of Blood, Trial of Health, a trial of born and this time we're gonna go with blood because this will be fourth time lucky uh, we've won three out of three so far let the trial of blood begin there go there's two shit two yay see so nice so we managed it barely because that cockroach doesn't bleed apparently Uroboros also that gets stronger every turn and I've, I've I thought of something in a dream weirdly I had a dream that I was playing this the other night and I remembered this. Ooh, right. What little beauties do we have? So he blocks airborne. He grows more powerful and he's a guardian. And he's just an uber sacrifice. Hmm, I might be able to make a good defense mechanism with you. I'll go with him because he's got two, I think. I don't like the idea of cards moving. But I suppose it could be useful in the long run. Unless I just go for the Grizzly. Since it'd be like the most powerful card I've got. No, you know what? Let's stick with the Wolf. We've gone Wolves all the way. It's probably not a good idea, but I do like Wolves. They're useful. I'm going Wolf. Cheers, bro. Right then. Um, items. Do I even need items? I can't remember what I've got. No, I don't need anything. Ah, but we still get the pack rat, so that's okay. Yes, yes, I would like another pack rat, please. A pack rat, always useful. I haven't done his voice yet, have I? Right, what have we got coming up? What's that? We don't know what this does, we don't know what this does. I think that, oops. I can't remember if that's a totem fight or not, but I suppose we'll find out. I kind of want to make my cards more powerful, but I also really want to see what these do. Uh... Well, let's just continue for now because we might not even get there. I'm pretty confident we will because our deck is getting stronger. What are we up against? Oh, new cards. So we got a mole. He's got defense. What's that do? Borrower. When an empty space would be struck, a card bearing essential will move to that space and receive the strike instead. So he can he moves the same way the bloodhound does, and then the vulture. That's quite hard because he attacks for three damage straight off the bat. Uh, and he goes directly whether I've got stuff on the field or not. So, uh, let's see. Um, let's, uh, let's get my, let's get the fawn out straight away. Put it here so it can start damaging the bird. Um, and that's all I can do for the moment. So... We'll just start chipping away a little bit of damage. Oh shit, yeah, it moves, doesn't it? Motherfucker, I forgot it does that. Oh, but it transforms. I didn't know it transforms. It becomes an elk. Oh, that's better. Now it's more powerful. Right, but it won't do me any good if I can't actually do anything with it. So, uh, let's see. Let's go with... Uh... Actually, somebody told me... Right, I've been reading the comments quite a lot, and somebody said that it was a good idea to use the knife as much as possible. So what I'll do is uh, let's just draw, let's draw a squirrel so that we got a sacrifice in our hand, and then we'll use this straight away. Carve that eyeball out and pop it back on there. Now we're winning again. <laughs> right, and I'm gonna do two damage to that. Uh, there and or oh, possum you can go here to start chipping away at that bird are we ready let's go ah shoot I forgot about that bastard that's not helpful at all 
Oh, right, okay. Um, okay, really not good. Really not good. Uh, squirrel. Let's get a hit point back by plucking a tooth. And let's chop up this card, because I reckon that's going to be the worst one to get rid of. Because he always does three directly. So, goodbye, Vulture. And then my squirrel can at least protect me for this shot, and I can start gathering some hit points back. And I can do that again on the next one, too. Right, he can't... Oh, shit! Mother of fuck. Hmm. He's always going to hit me for two, isn't he? But I can hit him for three, so that's alright. Right, I am not too worried. Not too worried, can still defend myself. Put the squirrel down, he can hit me for two, but I'm gonna hit him for three. And I'll eventually kill that friggin' raven. Oh. Okay, no problem. We just rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. Ha! There we go. It's okay, as long as he can't hit me. Ha! Absolutely fine. So as long as I don't run out of squirrel cards, I'll be okay. <laughs> oh. Last move, fucko. I got you. Die! Go with this one. <laughs> Ooh. Right, Trapper. I've the most exquisite pelts. The first one's free. Alright, so we got quite a few. So, um, that unfortunately cost 11, but I've got 11. I'll take two of them, because they can be traded for rare cards later down the line. Much appreciated. <laughs> I don't know what accent I'm doing. I'm in a better mood now, though. Right, let's see. Where do we go? So I could really do with getting some items, which I can get further up the line. These power-ups, that's a fight. Let's go and see. That's a totem f something. It's probably a totem fight. That's a regular fight. So I could power up a regular fight and then get another card, or I could see what this does. Oh, I kind of want to power up my cards, though, guys. What have I got? Let's see. Right, I can do some splicey dicing. So I've got two cats there that can do a mixing up. Oh, Ouroboros as well. Right, let me see, because I do have a plan, guys. I do have a plan. I'm thinking of a way that I can, like, consistently sacrifice Ouroboros and then get it back. I'm trying to think of a way to do that comfortably. Uh, right, let's go with... This one. Uh... Right, what shall we sacrifice? Let's see what we can give Ouroboros. Right, let's see. I can make it hit two ways. It'll get stronger on its own anyway. I like the idea of it hitting two ways. Because that's like six and six. But saying that, can I do that with one of my more powerful cards? Have I got a more powerful card? No, it would appear not. I mean, the wolf's good, but that's better. Uh, yeah, let's do that. So, him there, him there, and a uh, bloosh. There, so now Ouroboros hits for three in two directions, but it doesn't hit straight in front of him, so I'll have to try and remember that. Okay, let's see. Fight time. Oh, and now we get to test him out straight off the bat, I think, because, uh, what have you got? Fawn, shit, but well, they all transform, don't they, so I'll have to be careful. Uh, right, let's see if I can do this properly. You there. You there. You're not exactly safe. But I might be able to work it. There. 
and then that. I sacrifice both of those. Do that there. Could probably win the fight straight away, can I? Bam, bam. Yeah, see? Smooth as butter. Right then, do we go for a, another rare one? Oh, because I need to restock my pack too. Can I do that further up the line? I get a cave here. Oh, which way should I go, guys? I'm, I'm really perturbed here. I'm not sure which way to go. kind of want to do some more blending, but I also want to know what that is. Oh, you know what? I really want to know what that is. I need to know. I need to go see. Let's do it. We've gone this way now, guys. Whacka whacka our way there. What we got? Fly turtle! <laughs> we got an elk, a moose buck, the regal moose. The creatures of the wild make way for it. I'm not surprised with power like that. It's all right, beast. Um, I suppose of the three, I'd probably go with flying turtle. Because I could probably, yeah, I could probably mix him up as well. Okay, right. Going this way. We've, we're, we're making haste, we're going this way. Whether he likes it or not, we're going this way. I have pack rats, so it's fine. Right, uh, I could make my flying turtle... Like a super defense. In a way, can't I? Oh, but he takes two, though. Uh, I don't know. If I make my flying turtle a flying defense, then he will block flying attacks, right? And he's got six health, so that could be quite useful to me. There we go. So not only does he fly, he does direct damage, only one of it, but he also blocks. Right, let's see. See what else comes up here. What's this fight? Greetings! Hello. What are we up against? Right, more fawns. Oh, I've got one of my own. He's a good sacrifice too. Uh, right, but I don't have anything I can play right now. Can I play the pelt? Be useless if I do, isn't it? I mean, it doesn't cost anything, but it doesn't do anything either. Uh, I also don't want that to die straight away. Tough play. Ah, uh, let's go with that. I'll put you here because then you'll skedaddle out of the way. Because I can still use you as a decent sacrifice for my next pull. Can I? Right, let's just play. So that'll take some damage for me, which is good. Oh, but I don't want them powering up. Oh yeah, shit, I forgot I get stronger, don't I? Wolf. Can have. Oh. oh shoot! Do I? Okay then. Uh, well, I can use you, and I can put you there to do battle with this lot, and that'll be the best I can do for the moment. I'll just have to take damage. Not much of it though. Okay. Here we go. Oh. Right. Um. I can play you now. Come on, Ouroboros. Come on, Ouroboros. Come on, Ouroboros. Yeah, boy! Believe in the heart of the cards, Yugi! Okay. Um, what are we going to do here? Right, I can't kill either of these. This was silly of me. It's okay. We've got a plan. Right. Play the stink bug there. Good play. Thanks, man. Um, because I can then kill that with that. He won't take this, though. I could get Ouroboros out now and do three damage there and kill that at the same time. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Right, okay. Watch this. Darkness take me. Right, there. Because then that way... I take some hit points back. He can't kill Ouroboros. And then we do the same again this way. Um, let's let's put a squirrel in a hand. 
and then I can use it as protection if I need to. Crack, crack. There we go. Same happens again. Ouroboros comes back. Draw another squirrel. Put them both down. One there. One there. And then, huh. Bam, bam. Now, do I do both of those? Should I? Should I kill them both? Yeah, because I can. And now it's got four. So, I won't do any damage straight away, but bang, bang. And he can't kill me on this turn. And then, another squirrel here. Bam, bam. Doing well, guys. We're pulling it back. Wolf there. I suppose I could... Put you there, sacrifice him again to make him stronger because I know I'm going to win on this turn. Hit him there, and then bam. I know I didn't get as much overkill damage, but I made the Ouroboros significantly stronger. Now we get to find out what this is all about. Oh, it's the trader lady. Show me some exquisite pelts. Oh, I've got some exquisite pelts for you, lovely. Uh, pelts. Right, what are we starting with? Uh, oh, what's that? Oh, what? Ooh, we've got a mystery. That could be fun. Or do we stick to what we know, guys? Vulture's quite good, but I don't have a lot of bones. Um, I could maybe get another multi-striker. Or do I, do I take you and make something flying? Have I got any flying? I only have a flying turtle. I can maybe do with a flying something. So I am going to go with the vulture. Yeah. Alright, what are these? Incredible golden pelts. Ooh, amalgam. I was really curious to see what child 13 is. So I think I might go with that one for one of them. Uh, I've got a pack rat, so either long elk or amalgam. I'm going to go with the amalgam just because he's like a wolf with extra HP. So we'll go for that. You have my gratitude. And you have mine. Ooh, we've got a boss fight, guys. Right, okay. I really want to power up, but I know I'm going to need items. Won't I? That would be the clever thing to do, would be to stock up my items, because I'm not utilising these pack rats as much as I should. So, definitely want the knife. The pitiful opossum. Uh, I definitely want a hit point. Oh, black goat. Uh, and I'll... S I'll get some bones as well, just in case I draw that vulture and can't do anything with it. And then let's go for whatever this dude is. Looks like the next boss. Here we go. Oh, I got the smoke. Yeah, forget I got the smoke for that. A man stood before you, a man you recognized immediately. It was the trapper. You reached out to examine his wares, but he stopped you. <laughs> Sorry, but today you will provide the pelts. <laughs> okay, trapper. Ooh, look at these. Leaping trap, strange frog. What have I got? Okay, we have a reasonable start. We might be able to pull this off. I've got to think of a way to get him down pretty quick. I need to start, I need to do a shitload of damage quickly. Squirrel. There. Now, leaping trap, that there, a card bearing the sigil will block an opposing creature bearing the airborne signal sigil. So that basically means that if I hit it, something bad's gonna happen. It's a trap, isn't it? So let's take something that does fucking no damage, put it over there, and I can utilize it as a sacrifice. Uh, the smoke does zero, it also takes zero. Uh, I could use that as a sacrifice there. I could get my turtle on board. And I could do one damage with it. There. 
and I can save up some more bones for the turkey vulture. Right, okay. Bash! Go fly, turtle. my best call because I can't play him yet and I only have one to play that unless he does two damage so I could kill that this turn couldn't I okay let's try that one two there wait 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 I know what to do no oh fuck I'm too late I wanted to play something first I should have used that first fuck Ah, oh, I played it wrong. Never mind, guys. It's okay. Um, well, if I if I get that now, anyway, will he then? No. Shoot. Okay, no problem. Um, let's. I don't trust them. Let's just open with this. I can survive two more damage and I've got all of this if I need to. So I can pluck my eye out if I really need to. I've got like four hits left and he's only going to do two damage. So let's do it. Bam. Ah, so they turn into traps. Do they? Right. Good to know. Good to know. Look, there's a third talking card somewhere around here. Personally, I hate the guy. The biggest killjoy ever. But he's the only one of us with a plan to get things back to normal. Right, oh then, stoty boy. I hope you're right. Okay, cool. So, can we take another two? Shit, we can. We're gonna have to pluck an eye, guys. Fuck it. Fuck it! <laughs> ah, take the fucking eyeball, you savage bastard, you. Okay, and... Use that too. Empty it out, boys! And... Not sure whether to put the stoat down just yet. Well, we can take two damage now. So let's just, let's just see what the trap does. Right, it kills your thing and it gives you a pelt. Right, okay, interesting. So pelts are useless to me apart from... Sus okay, so I can use that. Okay, let's see. What one there that I could use? Let's try and get something powerful now. Wolf, good. Ooh, double wolf, even better. Right, okay then. Do four damage straight off the bat. I could get my wolf out. So what I'll do, I'll put the wolf down there to protect me against that. Then I'll put the stoat down in the middle here and sacrifice him and him for this. Now, it might seem like a weird play, but it's gonna pull me four health back straight away. And then this. Bam, in the middle for some overkill damage. Ready? Let's go. Bam, bam. Just enough. Uh, what's going on? Too fast, too soon. Uh, right. Guys, I think I might be in trouble here. <laughs> this doesn't look fair. I can do is there? No, there is not. Well, let's just fight and see. Oh my god. That's not fair. So, this is obviously designed so that I have to lose, isn't it? I can't win this fight at all. There's literally nothing I can do, even if I had cards, uh, even if I had items now, I can't do that. Okay, it said too fast too soon, so I think I absolutely had to lose that. She was making an exquisite pelt. Right, okay, I think that was a part of the game. I had to lose that fight. 
which seems grotesquely unfair, but I'm assuming something different happens on this round. I got it! Cheese! 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 Right, I know how this song and dance goes. I'm gonna go with the one single blood. So one cost, power and health. I'm gonna use the wolves three and two. And choose a card from the sigils. Well, it's gonna to have to be Ouroboros, isn't it? The sigil of unkillable and the sigil of bifurcated strike from the Ouroboros. Right, okay, so never did ask your name. And now we snap to my picture. Big smiles. Cheese. <laughs> All right then. Well, that wasn't very fair, was it? Hmm. Not much for training that last one. Are you prepared to make the right deals? Hmm. A gift. From the angler. You see, he was defeated recently. I wish to redeem himself. It would be unfortunate if you were to fall to the prospector before he was given that chance. This talk is powerful. You may steal one of my cards with it. For that reason, you will not find any others along this path. Use it. Wisely. It seems the lowly stink bug has made its way in. But it is dealt, so it stands. And we begin again. Right, let's see if anything's changed in here that I can mess with. Right. Oh, this is different. Right, Adder and Squirrel. Clock's changed. No. Okay. Uh, nothing new in there. Oh, that candle's... Oh, bit teeth. Teeth. Have some teeth. Thank you. Uh, poof. Oh! Oh, hello! I do relish snuffing out your excess candles before a boss. Perhaps you will now enjoy it as much as I do. Cool, I got more smoke. Right, that's cool. Because that smoke card was actually quite useful. Um, right, nothing else changed over here, no? Right then, I suppose we begin again. Uh, let's get a quick little bit extra in. Just a tiny bit. I'll just do this level and see where we end up. Oh, instead you must decide on a tribe that you prefer. Wolves, birds, or insects. Well, I think I've got most wolves, haven't I? The Dauntless Bloodhound. It leaps to oppose new creatures when they are played. A randomly chosen canine card. Do you wish for something else? No, I like the Bloodhound, he's cool. Okay, let's see what this is. Ooh! An ancient woman emerged from behind an oak tree. She carefully laid out intricate wood carvings and gestured at them brusquely. Ah, oh, cool. 
cool, so I get a body for my squirrel, so I can make them burrowers, waterborne, or flying. Uh, yeah, whatever, let's go with flying squirrels. Hells yeah, because why not? The old one bared her teeth in satisfaction. Your first totem was complete. The airborne sigil will now be marked upon all your squirrel creatures. Well, not exactly the best of the bunch, but I suppose I've got some flying squirrels. They're completely useless to me, and she's got swimming wolves. But I can fly, so it's alright. It's me. God, you look bad. What happened to you? Okay, right. All oh, right then. Waterborne. That's not good. Right, I need to do a lot of damage quickly with this one. Uh, let's just start with this. You can't kill this, can you? Like that. Bash. You're going to do a lot of damage. But then, I draw another squirrel, sacrifice this, oh no, just put that there, then duh, duh, and duh, that, bash. Oh shit, yeah, I forgot they do two bollocks. Ah, silly me. Oh well. Uh, go again. Just gonna have to keep absorbing damage until something good happens to me. Unless I nick his card, I could use his hook. I don't really want to use it straight away though. Hmm. Uh, not too desperate just yet. Let's hold out. Bloodhound. Uh, right now I'm desperate. Oh. Didn't mean that one. There we go. Uh, let's do this. There we go. Uh, yeah, let's just do that for now. Because at least then we're on par with him, aren't we? We're breaking even every turn. So there's literally nothing you can do. Pop stink bug down. Pop! You have me here, I surrender. Tough! There's no time for surrender, fucko. Huh, huh. Huh. And I'm gonna use this. Yeah! So I want that overkill damage. Ah. Now we go. And the reason I've done that is because people said to me in my comment in the last video is make sure you're gonna win the fight and then find an excuse to use the knife. I think it unlocks something else, like another secret in the cabin, but I don't know what. I'm hoping it'll tell me now. I imagine you'd like to replace that eye you lost. Alright, there we go. Yeah, I would like the cybernetic eye, please. Oh. Cuckoo. Find salvation in Cuckoo Clock. The choice is final. Indeed it is. Right, now I've got weird Techno Terminator vision. Okay, right. See what happens. That one. That one. Yeah! Alright, cool. What's this? Oh, that's the Stunted Wolf. Take the film roll before he sees it. Now! What are you doing over there? Turn to face me. What are you up to over there? Nothing, Leshy. Absolutely not, bro. I am doing fuck all. I haven't got an adder to do this puzzle. But I would like one. Might try and get an adder in this next turn. Let's see. Give me a reptile. Give me a choice. Adder. Ah, right. Uh, adder. No! The stalwart snapper, a near impenetrable defense. Yes, well, that's all good and well. But I don't need that. Oh! Oh, do I get another totem here? 
What else can I get? The bones of the ancient woman creaked and groaned as she approached. With gently shaking hands, she placed her offerings before you. Oh, right, okay, I can get different heads. I would like insects, because I can make flying ants. And they might be useful. Yeah, um, flying ants. Sweet. So we do more damage straight off the bat. The old woman collected her pieces and shuffled off into the darkness. Hmm, let's see now. Oh, I could go up there and get another one of these. But it means I have to do a totem fight first. Uh, fuck it, I won one before. Let's see what happens this time. Flying Deers! Wendigo! Oh! I ought to thank you. How's it been? It has been quite bad. <laughs> I'm trapped in the body of a stork. What happened to you? <laughs> in the paper of a card. I see that. And I have curse. Ah, oh, I have, of course, set up a way once more. Go on. Our player friend here, that's me, they already hold the key. Ooh. So you found the stunted wolf. I've seen this play out enough times to know that a plan is in motion. Make haste. All oh, right, I'm making haste. Ooh, flying bug. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Ooh, stunted wolf only takes one. The key. Go on. Okay, what have you got? Longhorn. It's two ways. If I go directly in front of you... That... Here we are. Damn right. Okay, so he hits two there, so I need rid of him fairly quick, though. No. Uh shoot. Let's uh let's just keep keep defensive. Put there. And stink bug there. Cool. Ha -ha! Just keep chipping away the damage. Oh, bullfrog. You do any more? No. You're useless to me. Okay, don't need you getting any stronger, do I? Um, but I could just put everybody out at the same time. Won't do loads of damage, but we're okay. I'll do for now. At least we won. I do like to get loads of overkill because I like getting rare cards off the trapper, but... Either way, we can't win everything. I'm running out of time in this episode, though. You miss. Ooh, bleh, bleh. You must make a different kind of choice now. Choose not a specific beast, but decide the cost that you wish to pay. Oh, so one, two, or bones. Oh, I'm gonna go with one. Skunk, a random card with a cost of one. What were you expecting? <laughs> Fair enough. So Skunk doesn't do any damage, but I suppose I can use him as a defense mechanism if need be. Right, let's try and get another totem. What's that? Oh, I didn't see that. I don't know what that is either. Right, okay then. Well, I said I was going to get a totem, so let's get a totem. The decrepit woodcarver appeared before you. She moved with a certain vigor in spite of her considerable age. Right, reptiles, stink, or movement. Uh, I could use stinky. Stinky squirrels? Let's have some stinky squirrels, why not? Let's go with that. You hunched down to place her offering in your pack. When you looked up again, the ancient woman had vanished. Woodcarver! <laughs> She's not a witch. Can't be. Not at all. Alright, what are we up against? Smelly Squirrel! You took the film role. Is that correct? My plan nears its moment of truth. But you must defeat him first. Aye. No problem. Uh, let's put you here. Uh, you. Here. Are you 
sure? Yes, because I have a plan. Because you don't do any damage. So I can do two straight away, and then when you come in to try and do damage, you'll hit me once, and I'll put a stinky squirrel in front of you and drop your damage to zero, and you are fucking useless. Aren't you? So I'll take that. Oh, shoot. Uh, well, may have to change things up a little bit, but okay. Um, there. Now, you can't do anything, but that alpha's a pain in my ass. Maybe. Oh, no, I need two, though. I'll... Yeah, because you're not going to do any damage on this turn anyway, so that's fine. And then do one. Oof. <laughs> All right. And we sacrifice you. Both of these. For this. And then you can go there for that. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, bollocks, his alpha do Oh, shit, I wondered why he was so keen on getting that alpha out. Never mind, that's all right. I concede. Yeah, you fucking better. You think you're getting out of this that easy? Not a chance, fucko. Not a chance, sunshine. Bah, bah. <laughs> I'm going to make this long and painful. I'm going to put you through the ringer. I'm going for that overkill. Ha! 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 Didn't get any overkill, but that's okay. All right then, to the trapper. Be perfectly. Have a free one. Of that one. All right then. Thanks for your patronage. You're welcome. Right, should I fill up my pack or power up? I think I should fill up my pack. That would be the logical thing to do. A rock may get you out of a hard place. Um, you are right, actually. So let's just roll with it. Uh, Seethers and... Uh, more Seethers. Right. Let's do this, guys. I'll do this, and win or lose, I'll finish up here, and we'll start again next time. That smoke, it is great indeed. Chill mist closed in around you. You were not alone. A figure emerged from the fog. Stand away, me gold! Me darn! Fucking darn you, stinky squirrel. Easy boss, just pop that mule. Salutations. All right then, yeah, I agree. Let's try and pop that mule. Uh, so, first, squirrel. So that he only does one damage. Won't really make a difference, will it? Oh, but I could. I could put you there, couldn't I? No, no, not yet, not yet, not yet. It's okay. Put the smoke down. And the stut. <laughs> Bad play. I don't think it is, mate, because I've got a plan. I'm going to try and take as much as I can out of that mule, because it's packing. <laughs> Stop that. Stop that. Right. Uh, let's get... Let's get another squirrel in the hand just to play it safe. You're going to die in this turn unless I play this. So pop. And bat, bat. And bat. There. And then you could do extra damage. Oh, wait, no, no, because he turns me to gold, doesn't he? So I'll save that excess. I'll say I'll hang on to that for a little bit. 
Oh shit, yeah, the adder does loads, doesn't it? Right, okay then. Um, right, but he's gonna kill. Ah, right, but if I render you to zero, you can't do anything, can you? There. And. Chop, chop! Who let that dog out? Ha! <laughs> My dog! Right, it's that great eel. He does two though. Less. Yes. Right. Do away with this mule. If I sacrifice this and this and do that, then we can whack. Open him up. Give us what you got. Yes. Got some cool stuff. My mule and a pack. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, he's gonna hurt me. Shit. Didn't think that one through, but that's okay. So I think I'm gonna win on this one anyway if I do three damage. Um, right, have I got a squirrel? Yes, I do. If I got four bones, yes, I do. Right, let's try and get powerful cards in the hand. Right, three damage. Is that gonna be all? Right, I'm gonna lose my wolf, but that's okay. Whew. There's gold in them cards. I keep changing his voice. Gold, I struck gold. Right, okay. Right, now is the time where we have to start doing some real damage. Kinda wanna know what you do. Uh, right, hold up then. Where's that bat norm, what does that do? Bat does two flying, that's nice. So, can put the bat down for two flying, which is cool. Um, squirrel can go there to render the adder to zero and I could use a boulder to protect me from the wolf couldn't I there we go get him Get another squirrel right now no 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 kind of want to know what that does um, so if I sac if I put that there and sacrifice both squirrels for that. Ooh, four damage. That's nice. And then Stinky McStinkbug can go here and kill that, shall we? Yes, let us. All right. Let's do him. <clears throat> Let's put Bullfrog down. And game on. More like game over. Goodbye, Prow Spectre. <laughs> Lovely job, Lee. Oh. Need a light. Your reward. Yeah, I forget. I get a rare card. I have no words for this freak of nature. The stalwart mole man, the ultimate defense. Or the pack rat. Um, quite like the ultimate defense. That's cool. Oh, is he? He's got touch of death. Oh, that might be useful. Oh, but so might the mole man. Yeah, let's let's go for the ultimate defense. Because we might be able to amp him up and make him like uber strong. After the harrowing encounter with the prospector, you gathered yourself and continued onwards. Let me think. The air grew thick with moisture. The buzzing and chirping of insects drowned out the sound of your footfalls. You beheld the wetlands. All right, then, guys, and that is unfortunately all the time I've got for today. I did try and drag it out a little bit longer and do a tiny bit more today because I know the last episode seemed a bit rushed, and I do want to get to the end of this, at least at least this scenario, because I've heard that there's three. The Leshy's Cabin is only the first part of the game, and I'm struggling with it a little bit, but we'll see what happens in the next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to smash like if you enjoyed this episode, and, of course, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this from me. Drop me a comment in the section below, and let me know what you'd like to see me play 
play next and if you've got any hints and tips and things like that I find them massively useful and I am reading them all and I'm going to try and reply to them all as well so thank you so much I'll see you next time but until then that's game over bye <laughs>